Game number two between Liquid TLO, the German player Darius Wunsch. And he is playing once again against the Korean. He is playing against MVP Tails, the Strawberry Protoss. Starting to the top right, we have the German player. And at the bottom left, we have Tails. And if you guys are wondering why exactly I just call him the Strawberry Protoss, then check out Reddit, check out Twitter, especially his Twitter, and have a quick look at what he currently looks like and his hairstyle, and you will immediately know why. It was just recently, I think it happened actually today or yesterday. It's worth quite a laugh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. So we have Daybreak, it's our second game in the series, and Tails is currently in the lead. TLO went for a hatch first on the Belcher Vestige in game number one, and Tails, starting with a forge first, immediately punished the German Zerg player. Went for the cannon rush, took out the expansion of TLO. It was a fierce fight, and TLO just barely wasn't able to save his hatch, but in the end, Tails took down the natural, and so TLO uh, yeah, lost his base and uh, was a little bit unhappy about that. Currently we have the Zerg player to the top right at 14 supply, not heading, oh he's heading into 15, it looks like he's gonna start off with another hatch first. And yep, that's apparently what we're gonna see here. Has the Overlord already in position and guess what? Tails is heading out now with a forge and this is already uh, interesting as fuck, this is gonna be good. What we are going to see right now is Tails is going to scout, is going to scout what's happening. He will see what's going on, and then it's basically a question if Tails is confident in taking down TLO with another cannon rush. Tails is going to look at this expansion. He's going to be like, "All right, you lost to this once. Do you really have the balls to uh, to dance the same dance again? Do I go for it?" He's already moving in. He sees the uh, hatch. Is he dropping the pile? And he is. He's going for the same thing. TLO is asking for trouble and Tails is happy to deliver. Here we have them, the three pylons forming the wall already. A huge commitment here by Tails. The forge is done. He's going to cancel one of them and then immediately starting with the cannon. It looks like we have TLO in exactly the same position that he was in the last game. But this time he's already preparing to take a third base over here. Hatch being built. Pool is not about to be completed and TLO will have to cancel this base. But as you can see, this time we have a different game. Tails is not committing as much as he did in the last game. No, he's actually going for the yeah for only one photon cannon. He's waiting if TLO is committing to his hatch or not. There's the cancel. Tails realizing, all right, I don't have to go through with this. He is just leaving this one cannon so that this third base is going to be a little bit delayed. At the bottom left, he is adding his own gateway. We have him with a nexus. So TLO even taking this base over here and I think Tails just, no he didn't miss it, he saw it and he could actually start to cannon this position. Not very likely to happen since we have already Zerglings on the map. He's actually trying to use it at the, at the uh, yeah well I, I'm gonna call this the natural right now but it's basically uh, the third base. Once again Pylon being built, Lings are moving in, Tails does he have the balls to go for the cannons against the, against the Zerglings. Highly unlikely. He might try to pull it off, he's actually just going for it. He's going for it, he has to drop another pylon though. And that's exactly what he does, already attacking the Zerglings here. This hatch is something that TLO can not cancel, he has to follow through with this. The probe is still being attacked, the pylon is going strong, one of the Zerglings kneeling down. And this is just an amazing game already. Tails committing so many resources to this. He's moving in once again, another photon cannon being built here. The cannon is already done and the links are now being taken out. Oh god, even saving the pylon here. For a second at least, that is, more cannons are being built and TLO, he might be in trouble here once again. Tails' own, Tails own base is already safe, we have it with the Photon Cannon, he can now go into uh, the Harvester production once more, whereas TLO is trying to counter his opponent with the early baneling nest, maybe even trying to baneling in at the natural of Tails to the bottom left of Daybreak. TLO confident in his abilities to deal with Tails. Second can rush. Oh, losing the Queen here, not going for the whole position. A huge mistake by the TLO. And Tails, he is just punishing TLO right now. He really tries to uh, take down the German Zerg player as fast as possible. And TLO, what is he going to do? He takes down the Zealot at his base that he uh, he's still mining from. He has two mining bases, but he is going to lose this hatch no matter what. And this is exactly what we are seeing right now. At the bottom left, though, will Tails hold? TLO with the speed, with the baneling nest. Supply block currently, but two overlords on the uh, on the way. 
the second gateway just as a wall this is a precaution guys and in the main base where do we have the core we don't have a core oh sorry there's the core at the back a little bit safer can go for the sentry the first one is already being built where are the banelings where are the banelings he needs a lot of them there they are ooh chrono boost on the sentry would really help him so many zerglings right now. Oh, the cannons, two of them. That's quite a bit, but he needs more. Gateway research, warp gates not done just yet. TLO with links and bane links everywhere. And where are those sentries? No chrono boosts being used. Here comes the first one on the warp gate research. The gateway is good, but here comes the sentry, and he needs to use that. He needs to use that force field as soon as those bane links appear. And they will in just a few seconds. Army supply, let's check this for a minute here. 25 against only 4. 37 harvester for tails against 23. Tails going into gateways, going into twilight council. Maybe a dark shrine coming up here. TLO, he doesn't have a lot of time. He needs to go in right now. The second sentry is already done. Two force fields for the Protoss player. Here come those bane links moving in. Trying to barrel through. Taking down the shields. Taking down those gateways and there is another gap but the force fields they are good or the sentries are out of energy though out of energy and no warp gates and here come more and more bane links and the zerglings are trying to move in immediately we have another pylon being built TLO could attack it he could force the cancel he doesn't attack it he's trying to take down the cannon and he will he's taking down the cannon and now tails has to use his probes oh ho -ho! a massacre here taking down so many harvesters already eight in total they could have been a lot more but once again the wall and TLO struggling to survive here harvester count 23 to 34 TLO with another attempt to take down his opponent Zerglings moving in mothership core doesn't have the energy just yet TLO with the GG leaves the game as tails warps in his first five zealots right outside of the wall and once again the Protoss player prevails with his cannon attacks against TLO's greedy hatches without pool. Great play here by Tails, good defense by TLO, very close series especially on Daybreak, but in the end it is the Protoss player that advances to the next round of the Zotic Cup Monthly Final.